Hello my lovely kids. Welcome back to the English virtual class. Today we are going to start a new grammar topic that is singular and plural. I am sure kids that you all must know that when we talk about person, place, animal, thing, we also talk about their number. There can be one or more than one person, place, animal, thing. When we talk about singular, we talk about one person, place, animal or thing. And plural, more than one person, place, animal or thing. For example, cap, caps. Here, cap is a singular noun and caps is a plural noun for cap. So, let's take one more example. Torch, torches. Torch is a singular noun and torches is the plural noun for torch. We add S to most of the nouns to show their plural form. Let's understand this through some examples. For example, house, houses. Boy, boys. Cat, cats. Here, in these nouns, we have added S in each of the nouns to make their plural form. Now, let's understand adding ES. We add ES to nouns that end in S, double S, O, X, CH, SH and Z to get their plurals. So, let's take some examples. For example, bus, buses. Here, the word bus is ending in S. So, we have added ES for buses. Now, glass, glasses. So, here you can see that the word glass is ending with double S. So, we have added ES for the word glasses. Now, let's move on to another example that is mango, mangoes. Mango is the word which is adding with O. So, we have added ES in mangoes. Now, let's take one more example. Fox, foxes. Here you can see that the word fox is ending in X. So, we have used ES to make its plural. Now, let's take some more examples. Here, bench, benches. Here you can see that the word bench is ending in CH. So, we have added ES to make its plural. Now, one more example here. Dish, dish, dishes. Here also we have added ES to the noun as the word is ending in SH. So, I hope that you have understood how we can add ES to the singular noun to make its plural. Now, let's understand some more rules to change singular noun to plural noun. Some nouns ending with F or FE changes into VES when they become plural. So, let's understand this with an example. Leaf, leaves. So, here you can see that in the word leaf, F is there and in the word leaves, which is the plural noun of leaf, we have changed F into VES. So, let's understand more through some more examples. Here, the word is knife and its plural is knives. So, we here we have changed FE into VES to get its plural form. Now, let's take one more example. Here, the word is wife and its plural is wives. Here also, we have changed FE into VES. Some nouns 
do not follow the rule they are the exceptions so let's take an example of the exception chef and chefs here in the chef and chefs we have not changed f into v e s so chef is the singular form and chefs is the plural form so i hope children now you have understood how we have to change f to v e s to change some of the nouns from singular to plural now let's understand one more fact about singular and plural that some nouns have the same form both in singular and plural in singular and plural for some nouns we use the same word like sheep sheep so here in singular the word sheep is there and in plural also we have used the word sheep let's take one more example deer deer so here in singular also we use deer and for its plural also we use deer let's take two more example for the noun kiwi we use kiwi for singular and kiwi is used for the plural also let's take one more example bison bison is the singular form and bison is the plural form also now i'm sure that you have understood this concept of singular and plural now let's understand one more fact about singular and plural nouns a few singular nouns form their plural by changing the inside vowel or vowels so here you can see that the word tooth is written and we have changed double o into double e to change singular to plural and here one more example is there man for changing singular to plural of man we have to change the word a into e so man is the singular form and men is the plural form so i hope children now you have understood singular and plural nouns well before saying goodbye to each one of you i want to give you one task so the task is you have to write 10 nouns from your home and you have to write both the singular and plural form of those nouns so bye bye kids stay tuned for the next video have a nice day